On this episode of Death by Bungie, Bungie and I are taking my daughter Genevieve on a spring boar hunt. Now Genevieve and I had gone on one of these hunts once before. A couple of years ago, during the summer, we went over to the neighboring county, to the Tioga Boar Ranch, and had a great time. We shot a really nice boar, we got it mounted, and just had a great time all around. I kind of like these kinds of things in the off season because it gives me a chance to stay active with hunting during the off season. It also gives me a chance to get my daughter outside and do some hunting and to see what it's like. She wasn't really a big fan of sitting in a blind during the colder weather as the uh, crossbow seasons wore on last year in northeastern Pennsylvania. Uh, she didn't really want to go out in the blind with me. Doesn't really like to sit in a tree stand so much, but she did ask a few times if we could go on another one of these boar hunts. Now, it was way too cold in January and February for me to make that happen, but come March, we started to get a break in the sub-zero temperatures, and I decided to set that up. So a little bit toward you. How's that? All right, let's talk five. All right, well, we're on our way to the Tioga Boar Preserve. Welcome to Death by Bungie. I'm Rich Wilson, and this is... Genevieve Wilson. <laughs> my kid. All right, this is my little girl. Uh, you're what? 10? 9, 10? And 12. Okay. And we're going on a boar hunt uh, for a spring boar hunt using the old crossbow. We've got Bungie all boxed up in the back here, ready to go. He's going on the trip with us. And um, it is raining like you wouldn't believe. So it's, and it's a 90% chance of rain all morning long. So I don't think we're going to get out of the rain. What do you think? Is that going to be all right? Yeah. yeah. We'll make do, huh? Yeah. Now tell us about the last time we went. Do you have a good time last time? Yeah. This is the second time we've gone on one of these hunts. What did uh, what'd you like about it last time? I liked the scenery there and that we saw an elk there too. The animals. You like the yeah. animals. Yeah. That's, a, that's and the And the kid. bison. Yep. So hopefully we'll get a chance to uh, see some wild boars while we're there and get a shot on one and see what we can do. Another thing that's going to be interesting about this trip too that I want to talk about real quick is we're using the Canon HFG30 new video camera. I was going to bring the DSLR and use this one and then use the DSLR also, but um, the video camera is a new addition to Death by Bungie and I think it's... It has a lot of advantages over DSLRs, and primarily in, the, in terms of the focus, I think. This has autofocus, has peaking built into the camera where I can see and make sure that we're in. And if I look at it, um, I can see the parts of us are in, are outlined in red, and that's what I've got it set to, so I can tell that we're in, in focus. With the DSLR, it's frustrating because, man, when you're in focus, it's perfect, but if you aren't in focus, then the picture is pretty, pretty crappy. It gets pretty soft pretty quick. Um, that has a lot to do with the lens you're using and stuff like that too. But with the video camera, you can set the focus on auto and feel pretty confident with it. The, the autofocus on DSLRs has never impressed me, not like the video cameras. Last time we were down here, we used a video camera, right? Yeah. That little one, it was a, a Sony Handycam, and you did the filming with that one, right? Yeah, did a good job, and we had a lot of fun with that one. Um, and I think this one's a bit heavier. Do you think you'll be able to hoist it up there and use it? It's not that much heavier. Oh, okay. you'll manage. Okay. So we'll see what we can do. All right. So hopefully this new camera works out. Uh, I've got a large baggie to put over it. You know, me and my Ziploc bags uh, to keep it dry. And I've also got the little uh, hood that the camouflage hood that I bought uh, for the DSLR. We brought that along too. So one way or another, we're gonna try and keep this camera dry. Try and get some good footage, right? Yep. Should have a good time. Here's the hoping. Oh, I got something for you too. What? I got you a little present for our trip. A little present. Last time we went on this too, I think this is a great way to get kids involved in hunting. It's a quick, efficient way so that the kids don't get bored and stuff. And I try to make it as exciting and fun as possible. Oh, 
So <laughs> I got her a, uh, you can show what it is. It's just a, a game for her Nintendo. So that, now we've got the, her Nintendo, what is it, DS? 3DS. 3DS, ooh, okay. So now we've got that where she can uh, play that on the way and play it while we're waiting for the board to be processed if we're lucky enough to get a shot on one and uh, play in the car and all that good stuff. So we'll have a good time and hopefully despite the rain, if we can ward that off, we should have a pretty good time. By the time that we got all checked in, we started to make our way out into the preserve area to go look for some wild boars. Sure enough, the weather was still not cooperating. It was still cold. It was still rainy, but that's part of the deal. On a hunt like this, you don't really get to pick and choose your weather. Before we got set up, before we made our way out, a few other groups had gone out before us. That kind of worked in our favor because as we got out there, the animals were starting to get moved around a bit by the other hunters that had already made their way into the woods. Now, our plan had been to get to a tree stand very close to the same location we had been in a tree stand a few years earlier. We were hoping to get to that tree stand without the boars seeing us, without, them le without letting them know we were on our way, uh, but that didn't happen. Because the other hunters had gone out there before us, they were moving the animals around, and there was a group of about 20 boars kind of in the location that we were headed to. So we weren't able to go directly to the tree stand. Our guide instead stuck us in a little bit of a blowdown, a couple of trees that had fallen down. So that's what we did. We set up, got ready, and kept an eye on that group of boars that was just over the ridge from us. Now, it wasn't long before that additional movement started to move those boars in our direction. Some of them started making their way in. The lead boar, I think he spotted us. He stopped, the others stopped and looked around to see what was going on. We were patient, we just sat there deciding what we were gonna do to see if they were gonna come any closer. Now, I could have waited a little bit longer to see if they were gonna come any closer, but at this point, they were right on the 30 yard line. One of those boars, the third one in line, he was lined up perfectly broadside, set up, giving me a nice broadside shot. Bungie and I, we're gonna take that shot. sitting right there at eye level with these wild boars and you never know what they're going to do. But nevertheless, we take that shot and I think I made a perfect shot on that number three wild boar. As those boars run off, I'm watching and I can see the one that I took a shot at take a turn to the left and I can see he's dragging pretty good. When we go back and look at the tape afterward, it's pretty clear I made a good shot at him because he's bleeding pretty seriously. I know it's not going to be a long blood trail to find that wild boar. We got up, we looked around, took a quick look, and then when our guide came back, we walked off to look for that arrow. Now, I'm glad I had Genevieve with me because she was able to spot that arrow right off the bat. My guide and I, we didn't see it. She saw it. And when we looked at it, sure enough, the broadhead was fully open and it was a nice red arrow. You're not going to see anything better than that. Because it had rained, it had been raining all morning, we weren't able to find much of a blood trail. But our guide quickly spotted the boar. He only went about 50 yards. Broadside shot at 30 yards and pulled the trigger, did a good job. Broadhead opened up. 
Uh, the Excalibur did a great job. Old Bungie did a great job. What do you think, Jenna? You had a good time? Yeah. You ready to go back and get warm? And yes. See what you can do. Well, look at the hair on this guy. He's got the nice razor back and everything. Nice long hair. Yep. This is going to look great on the wall. So it was a little bit shorter of a trip than I thought we would be on. Um, because there were other hunters out there, they're moving the animals around and we got an opportunity to get out there and take that shot early. Sometimes you don't want it to end, so you don't want to take that first shot opportunity that you get. But in this particular case, because we're on the ground, it's raining, I was ready to take the first shot, no problem with that. <laughs> but take that shot, we go back to the lodge and we sat in there, played some cards and you got to play with your DS a little bit, your new game, Yeah. Um, while they were processing the wild boar. I'm really happy about this kind of a hunt though to be able to take old Genevieve out here and have a good time and get her exposed to some more hunting and some outdoor stuff. It, this is a great break from the pretty tough winter that we've had this winter and so I'm happy about that too. It's a great way to get a break from the winter, from the cold weather. Even with the rain it's still just a great uh, chance to get out there and there was snow on the ground and everything else so uh, and it was it's always nice to go to a new area and check out we're a county away from where we live, so this is like a little bit of a trip for us. So I'll make a nice, exciting trip, too. All right, we hope you enjoyed this episode of Death by Bungie, and until next time, all hail Bungie! Bungie. <laughs> now, I want to be clear, that overexposed footage that you see here, that is not Genevieve's fault by any means. We had just gotten this new camera uh, the night before. It was delivered the day before we left for our trip. I was actually in a hotel room overnight playing with this thing uh, for a few hours trying to get it set up before we went on this little adventure. So the footage really, hopefully that will improve if we continue to use this camera. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Death by Bungie. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already so that you can catch all future Death by Bungie action. And also, head over to our Facebook page. Check that out. I'll put a link in the description here. And hopefully we can continue Death by Bungie fun over there as well. Look, that has one of them now. Now we cling to our guns and religion. Full of a castle doctrine crossbows too. School is out when buck season opens and we've got oil and gas for you. Then what happened? Tell us what happened. And... All that. Wow. Really? Tell me more. <laughs>